Welcome back, Rec Room players. We're going to go over some of the new tools in Rec. We're going to go over Snap Tools. We're going to go over the Move and the Rotate Tool. We're also going to go over the Scale and the Clone Tool. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up your watch and go to your backpack. You can use your Maker Pen or you can favor your Maker Pen and pull it from your back. Go ahead and pull up your Maker Pen. We're going to go over a couple of snapping uh, tools that we have here. We have a line, we have the snap tool, we have world space tool. We're going to click on the align tool and the align tool is really great because if you draw out a square, uh, that square won't go through anything if you have the align selected. You can notice that if I go over all these objects here, it will not go through them. Go ahead and I clone this object and that will not actually happen at all as you can see here. It's a pretty neat tool there. So we just went over a line and now we're going to go over snap and world space. Snap is really good to help build structures and align objects. Now that's what snap is really good for. But if you have this snap selected specifically, then the grid will move with your object. And world space is where the grid is completely static and this is part of the world grid. You can easily tell by selecting again the object that you're moving and you get these arrows. You can move it at an angle here by hovering over these arrows here, going up and down, and also these squares to help you align objects. You can deselect world space and you'll get this option. At this angle, you can go at this angle, or you can go at this angle. You can also touch these squares and gives you a different grid to work on. That's really useful, especially if you want to switch your angles around for easy movement. Now if you would like to change your snap settings, you can open up your palette and then go into settings and you can change your position snap here by just selecting or you can change your rotation snap here as well. You can also choose don't rotate while moving, align to objects, snap to center. All of these snap options are just on the first page in your settings palette. For example, this can be really useful if we have world space selected and we go to clone and we clone this object, you can notice that it's at an angle. So it's at the angle of the container of your object. Now, if we want it to be straight and we're trying to create a neighborhood, you can go ahead and deselect world space. Go ahead and clone this object again. And now it aligns perfectly straight with the other container. So that, that works really well. Now, if you want it to be diagonal, you can go back to world space. It will clone the object diagonally. You can also just move your object either straight across or diagonally. That is very useful when you're on snap and world space. I usually have world space and snap selected, but I often deselect world space just to get a little more uh, even with my objects. So when we select the rotate option, it kind of gives us this kind of ring. We can just hover over one of the rings and just move the house this way or that way, or we can just grab the white part and move it that way. We can also click on it. So when you click on it, it kind of moves it as well. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty useful in a lot of different ways. You can also select off the ring and just hold your trigger and it kind of gives you this option. You can just move your house or object any way you'd like. Pretty neat as well. When you select on the scale option, we kind of want to scale our object. We can hover over these handles here and we can pull from different directions. We can also pull from the center here. You can pull from the center of the, of the handles and you can just like click and drag and you can like, scale from the center of the object pretty neat. Since we're not in the container, we can't manipulate the different options. We're going to go ahead and go into the container by going into edit here and then selecting on the, this object. And now I can touch the individual shapes here, as you can see, and I can go into select and I'm going to select these two shapes, for example, 
And when I select those two shapes, I'm going to go ahead and scale. Now, when I go ahead and scale, you can notice that this is actually not giving me exactly what I wanted. Um, but I go ahead and change that by deselecting world space. And I kind of have that aligned a little bit better here. And I can click and drag however I want to. Pretty neat, guys. Pretty neat. I'm going to go ahead and press done editing. And we're going to go over the clone tool here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and clone this object, for example. And when we clone this object, we're just going to cl click clone and we're just going to select the object. And you notice that we have like these plus signs that pop up. And this is like, a, let's add another object, right? Um, when we add another object, we can just click, click. We can also click up, click on this, click up on this and click up. So since I actually cloned all of these soldiers, I kind of want to like put them in uh, a fence. Um, I can grab a fence over here. I'm just going to grab this fence here. So we have our fence here and we really want our fence to be pretty straight. We can do that by uh, clicking clone and selecting our shape. But wait, we notice that if we select this plus sign, it's going to clone our shape at an angle. That's what world space will do for you. It will put you at an angle of your object. Now we can change that by deselecting world space and having that align to our object. We can go ahead and delete this object here, go back into clone, and now our add signs align well with our object. So we can go ahead and click on that and it kind of aligns very nice and straight, giving us a really nice perfect fence here. Now, if I wanted to kind of create an angle fence, I can go ahead and go into move and just drag this to the side here and then go ahead and rotate. Voila! And I have my fence, I have a bunch of skeletons, and that is how you use the clone feature. Be creative and give it your rec room best.